Welcome to Inside Science TV. Heart Diamond Oval Square. Faces come in all shapes and sizes, but what do you remember about this face? A guy with glasses and a red tie and a blue shirt. While most people remember something about a person's facial features, there are others who can't tell one face from another. Researchers placed electrodes on Ron Blackwell's brain and stimulated certain brain neurons. Then they watched in amazement as Ron lost the ability to recognize faces. He just turned into somebody else. Tell me your face it. metamorphosed. Now, neurologists have shown that two clusters of nerves are responsible for how we identify facial features. It goes over the brain, and each contact serves like a microphone listening to the brain activity. Watch what happens when electrical impulses were sent to a specific part of the brain. Your nose got saggy, you went to the left. You almost looked like somebody I'd seen before, but something different. But even though Ron could not see the doctor's face, he could see everything else. Only your face changed. Everything else was the same. Studying parts of the brain could help scientists gain a better understanding of disorders like dyslexia, schizophrenia, and how our memory works. We are conscious about the world with the help of neurons that do nothing but electrically send signals. Billions of signals that help us see and recognize the world. I'm Josh Lebowitz reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.